Yo, what is up guys? It's me, the Gaming Toast, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to make the M8A7 on Black Ops 3 overpowered. If you do enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe for daily videos like this one. And apart from that, let's get straight into it, shall we? Call of Duty points are now in Infinite Warfare, and if you do want some free cod points, go down in the link in the description below and get you some free cod points. Yo, what is up guys? It's me, the Gaming Toast, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to make the MAA7 in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 overpowered. If you do enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe for daily videos like this one. Now, I'm going to start talking about it, and then I'm going to put it up on the screen. So, the MAA7 is a three-round burst assault rifle, which makes it just that little bit better, because it is a one-hit kill with three rounds if you hit someone close enough so for this video let's get 2,000 likes and i'll do another video like this one so yeah it it is a one hit kill to the waist and up when you add when you have no attachments on it but with attachments it is a one hit kill anywhere on the body and i'm going to give you a little small easter egg Nuketown actually isn't, I don't know what I'm doing, it's not like a real, it's just like a theory. Nuketown is actually a simulation, no actual people are dying on that map. That's what I read on Treyarch message of the day. But anyways, back to what we were um, talking about, the MAA7. It is a three round burst, which makes it just that little better. And when I use it, I like to go close combat with it so that it's a one-hit kill instantly, not like a two-hit or a one-hit from far away. I like to make it a one-hit kill instantly so that I can get my kill streaks faster. Because about one kill earns you, maybe on my Xbox, with, the, with these guns, it earns me 45 points. But it might earn you guys more points. Because sometimes I get 50 points from that. And then I could get my perks. Which is the good thing about these. Because it's really easy to use this gun. And then get your perks quickly. And then as you can see. I am um, just used like a couple of my perks. Like two. And, um, when you shoot it, it has, mm, it has okay recoil, and then you go onto a map like Nuketown, it's a very small map, so it makes it so more players are close in together and squished together, which means if you're playing online, you can get your friends on one team and you on the other. Also, free card points down in the link in the description if you want some free card points. But, yeah. So, like, you could have, like, maybe four players on online mode. Or you could have six, like, two on one team, two on your team. Or three on one team, three on the other team. That's what it could be like. Um... Yeah, this is probably my seventh favorite gun because it's not very good when you um, don't have attachments on it. But when you add attachments, it's very good, such as the reflex scope. Now, my personal rating on from 1 to 10 is probably... When it doesn't have attachments, I give a 2 out of 10. But when it does, I give it basically a 10 out of 10. And then, rating on stars, when it has attachments, I give it mm, 9.5. And, and then, when it's on no attachments, I give it about a 1.5. Because, a you know, it's not that good. So, I think it's probably my favorite favorite gun after like the brm or you know the kn44 maybe i should do a k44 
44 video, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. But I'll probably not... I probably won't make it, like, a class setup. I'll probably just say the attachments. And I'll probably just, like, talk about it and stuff. But, yeah. So, the main weapon is the MAA-7. And the pistol is the RK-5. The perks I'm using is Serbius. Um... Lightning strike and uh, sentry turret. Um, those are like my my personal favorite perks to use, and sometimes I just put them on there for the class. Because sometimes you can get in tough situations, so you might need, like, HCXD. So, when someone's chasing you, you could just go explode them and you'd be fine. And then you could hide in a spot with the HCXD. And when there's a bunch of them together, you could go up and explode them. As you can see, that guy was playing dead. Like, he, he looked dead. Oh, no? Okay. But, yeah. Um, I like to use, like my specialist sometimes i like to use the purifier well, mo like most of the time i like to use the purifier but sometimes i like to use the scythe and yeah i like to use a scythe and sometimes i like to use the purifier the purifier is like my favorite um specialist gun in the game specialist weapon but right now i have the perks, as I said, and then, you know, stuff. Um, but, yeah. The MAA7 is very good. And if we hit 2,000 likes in the next video, or actually, if we hit 2,000 likes on this video, I'll make a KN44 video. And then if we hit... I don't know. I'll think about it. But if we hit a certain amount of likes on the Can44 video, I'll do an ICR1 video. But, yeah. So, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that. And, in a little bit, maybe a couple minutes, I'll show you guys the class. And all of that good stuff. But... For now, I'm just going to show you some gameplay, and, uh, yeah, I'm sorry if it's going to be quiet, but, you know, just show you some mini gameplay, so, um, I'll be back, see ya. Free card points down in the link in the description if you forgot, and if you want to get some, Go down the link in the description, you download the app, and start earning yourself some free cut points. Okay, I'm gonna have to end the video here. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe. I know I didn't show it, but I'm kind of running out of time, so I didn't show it. As you can see, it is 1025. Um, 
but yeah, I will show it really quickly for those who didn't, who wanted to see it. I have a reflex sight. I have um foregrip. I had. Hold on, peace. Okay, so I'm going to put it back up because my Xbox had an ad. So that's foregrip, uh, stock, and the pistol is an RK5. The perks are afterburner, fast hands, tactical mask, and overclock. Now, I'm sorry if I got any of them wrong. I, at least I tried, you know. But, yeah, I'm going to have to end the video here, as I said. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe for daily videos like this one. If we can get 2,000 likes on this video, I will do another video like this one. So, apart from that, bye.